Great news! It looks more and more likely that a MacBook Air 15 inch or a 15 inch MacBook is on its way with this larger MacBook leak that I want to share with you today. I want to tell you all the details about this new 15 inch MacBook with its specs, design and of course the MacBook Air 15 inch release date and price. But first, a bit of background knowledge of the MacBook Air. The MacBook Air was first announced in 2008 with Steve Jobs showing off the first generation. What made this notebook or laptop or MacBook unique was its form factor and essentially it kicked off the Ultrabook era for the last 12 years or so. Steve Jobs showed this small form factor by just pulling the MacBook Air out of a brown paper envelope to show how small and thin it really was. The screen size was and is still today a 13 inch display. The design wasn't perfect and caused some technical issues but since then we've had an updated design in 2010 where the MacBook Air really took hold with a lot of users realising if you just wanted a MacBook for everyday tasks then this was the model to buy. Apple introduced a 11 inch model as well at this time. In 2018 though, we got the third generation MacBook Air what added such features like a retina display, touch ID and an even thinner design but the 11 inch model was gone. Then in 2020 the Apple M1 silicon chipset was added to the MacBook Air and was the first MacBook Air to be fanless and still remains today as the only MacBook to be like this inside the current lineup. But then this year in 2022 we have the new M2 MacBook Air with a brand new design with an M2 chipset and returning features like the MagSafe connector. But there is great news again as we've been told that a larger 15 inch MacBook is now on its way. One thing that hasn't been 100% confirmed if this will be called the 15 inch MacBook or the 15 inch MacBook Air. But for these videos until it's 100% confirmed I'll be calling this the 15 inch MacBook Air. So we've had a new report come in from Min Chi Kuo who is claiming a 15 inch MacBook is on its way and that this MacBook will be having the choice between an M2 and an M2. To Pro chipset inside. This is super exciting as many of us have been waiting for a larger baseline MacBook that could potentially be basically a MacBook Air Max and the price of this MacBook would be cheaper than the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros right now as the lowest one of this costs $2,000 and that's for the baseline 14 inch MacBook Pro. So it's likely that this new MacBook is to bridge that gap between the M2 13 inch MacBook Air that costs at $1,200 and this new MacBook that will cost less than the 2014 inch MacBook Pro. So it'll be somewhere in the middle there. But this also leads me on nicely to say that not all reports and leaks are 100% proof that they will come true with the new MacBook Air. I can only present you what I know and being told and shown. However, if you are still watching this video, then you're as curious as I am in knowing what is being said about the new MacBook Air anyway. So WWDC kickstarted the M2 journey and we're expecting most of the remainder normal M1 devices to get M2 in fall of this year and also next year in spring of 2023. However, we've had a report saying that the larger MacBook is coming in 2023 where some are claiming production will start at the early end of 2023 ready for the spring event. But others are saying that the M2 MacBook Air Max could be coming in summer like at WWDC 2023. For the official date of an event of when the MacBook Air will be in our hands, it's a little too early to say at this point. But everything is pointing towards that time of spring or summer next year. We've got to remember that Apple are now updating all their M1 devices to the M2 chipset. And this is a MacBook that will want to put the same chipset inside the M2. But in my own personal opinion, at the time of making this video, I think that the MacBook Air might arrive at the spring event in 2023 as Apple soon after will probably be wanting to introduce such chipset as the M2 Pro, the M2 Max and even the M2 Ultra and not really talk too much about the M2 chipset because I want that out of the way and this is targeted towards this MacBook. So just quickly guys, if you didn't know already, this channel just got over 450,000 subscribers and I recently did a giveaway of a brand new MacBook Pro 14 inch M1 Pro and if you want to see who the winner was at, make sure you check out the video on my channel because I announced who the winner was. 
But the great thing is, guys, I've got another giveaway. And because we're approaching half a million subscribers, and this is a big number, I'm doing an extra special giveaway. This time, guys, I'm gonna be giving away an iPhone 14 Pro Max, and it's a 256 gigabyte model in deep purple. Not only this, I'm also gonna be giving away a MacBook Air as well. And this is also the 10 core GPU option with also 256 gigabytes of storage and 16 gigabytes of RAM inside that. And not only this, guys, I'm also going to be giving away a MacBook Pro, another one, an M1 Pro, and this one has got the eight core setup and also has 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. And I'm going to be giving away one of these prizes to three lucky winners. So they'll be picked at random that one of you will get one of these random prizes. And basically there are three items to give away. And if you want to be in a chance to get one one of these items in this big giveaway that I am doing, make sure in the comments below to write what Apple products, what technology products you're hoping to buy in 2022. Put them down in the comments below and also at the same time as well guys, I'll be announcing who the winner is of these free prizes and the free winners by a video. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell if you're brand new here because you don't want to miss out on that video if you are the lucky person. One other quick note guys, I've just got to say, there are lots of spammers and scammers out there telling you to WhatsApp them or to Telegram them, telling you that you've won a prize to PM them or direct message them. This is not me at all. You've heard from me, I will be making a video when we get over 500,000 subscribers and only at that point. If you get any other messages or if you're told to part with some money to win a prize, this is not me. Please do report these scammers straight away. And with that out of the way guys, let's turn back to the video. So then, let's move on and do a summary of what the MacBook Air Max is going to give us and also the price. So the new MacBook Air Max, the biggest feature and the biggest change about this MacBook is that it's going to have a 15 inch display or specifically it's going to have that 15.4 inch display. This is the display that we used to have on MacBook Pros for example all the way up to when we got the 16 inch MacBook Pro and this will be an LED retina display with a resolution of 2880 by 1800. Now you might have noticed this is not a mini LED display and also it's not going to be a pro motion display. Remember this sits underneath the MacBook Pro so it's not going to get that better screen inside it but still that LED retina display is still amazing just like what we have on the normal 13 inch MacBook Pro and also that new MacBook Air M2. That display is really, really crisp. But for storage, we'll be getting a choice between 256 gigabytes all the way up to two terabytes of storage. And then inside it, we'll get the choice of that M2 chipset, what will be that eight core CPU and all the way up to that 10 core GPU. It's quite likely that that eight core binned GPU option will also be available for the MacBook Air Max. Then for RAM, you'll have the choice of eight gigabytes, 16 gigabytes or 24 gigabytes of RAM. It will be an aluminium body design, similar to what we have with like the MacBook Air right now, that new design, but it will obviously be larger and it'll have a MagSafe connector and two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports on the side. That new design again will have some new colors, we'll have that new midnight color but we'll also still be getting that silver, space gray and gold option and then we'll probably be getting an actual notch design and that'll have a center stage webcam and that will be a 1080p camera and the battery life on this MacBook Air will probably be up to 22 hours because of that M2 chipset and the larger body frame, it can retain an actual larger battery. The price will start with an 8 gigabytes of RAM option with 256 gigabytes of storage would cost $1,299, then 512 gigabytes at $1,549 US dollars, 1 terabyte $1,899, and then 2 terabytes at $2,249 US dollars. So that is a spec summary for the new MacBook. 
But my wishes for this new MacBook is to do with the colors. I am hoping that Apple will keep rolling out that midnight black color that we've got on the new M2 MacBook Air and for it to come on other MacBooks like this one. I'd love to have the ability to buy a midnight silver or gold or space gray MacBook Air Max when it comes out. But those are my thoughts and my current wish for the MacBook Air. However, let me know your thoughts if you agree with this and also write in the comments below of what your wishes are for the new MacBook large one that's coming out in 2023. Well guys, on that note, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching this video, please make sure you like it. And at the same time, if you want to hear the latest Apple news reviews and comparisons, please make sure you hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell. Until next time guys, I will see you really soon. Bye-bye.